today's class let us learn how to solve pair of linear equations which has two variables we know what is linear equation right any equation of the form ax plus b equal to 0 or some constant c then it is called a linear equation with one variable okay linear equation with two variable means equation will be having two variables in general i can write say ax plus by plus c equal to zero here x and y are the variables a b c are the coefficients and they are not equal to zero this is a linear equation with single variable x and this is a linear equation with two variables x and y always remember the coefficient of the variable should not be equal to zero this is the general form so when we say pair of linear equations there has to be two equations with two variables say in general let me write it like this a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 with a1 not equal to 0 and b1 not equal to 0 another equation is say a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 with a2 not equal to 0 and b2 not equal to 0 okay now this is the general form i'm writing general equation i can give you example same if i write any equation of this kind 2x plus 3y equal to say minus 6 or um, another equation say 4y minus x equal to minus 7 then these two are the linear equations pair of linear equations with two variables now how to solve them solution to this linear equation means what okay that we will study now let me just recall how the solution of a linear a linear equation with single variable say so suppose i have um 2x plus 8 equal to 4 now suppose this is the equation then you can just write it as 2x equal to 4 minus 8 or something like that this can even be 0 also okay minus 4 by 2 which is equal to minus 2 so now x equal to minus 2 this is the solution of this equation means when you put this value value of x over here then the left hand side is equal to right hand side then we say that this is the solution of the linear equation so this is the linear equation with single variable now suppose i have a linear equation with two variables say example 1 I have 5x plus y equal to 9 okay let me give the values to x and y say so let x equal to 1 and y equal to 4 now when I substitute the value of x and y over here what I am getting left hand side is 5x plus y right x is 1 y is 4 i'm just substituting over here 5 into 1 plus 4 so this is 5 plus 4 it is 9 which is equal to rhs right so geometrically it means that the point 1 comma 4 lies on the line 5x plus y equal to 9 so this is the solution of the linear equation with two variable 
it just implies this point lies on this line this uh, suppose i give some other value say uh, let x equal to 2 and y equal to 4 okay i'm just changing the value of x now what happens take the left hand side 5x plus y x is 2 so i'm just substituting here so 5 into 2 plus 4 so it's 10 plus 4 i'm getting 14 is it equal to right hand side no right hand side value is 9 so not equal to rhs now it says the point 2 comma 4 does not lie on the line 5x plus y equal to 9 this means this point lies on this line here since left hand side is not equal to right hand side so that i can say that this is not the solution to this equation geometrically it means that this point does not lie on this line similarly we can have two uh, linear equations with two variables in the sense pair of uh, linear equations with two variables uh, third example 2x plus 3y equal to minus 4 and 3x plus 4y equal to minus 9 so how to solve them solution to this means see i have to uh, rewrite this equation so that I can get the values of x and y. Uh, I'll just multiply this equation with 3 and this with uh, number 2. Okay, I'm multiplying this whole equation by 3 and this by 2. So I'll just rewrite the equation 6x plus 9y equal to minus 12 and 6x plus 8y equal to minus 18 okay new equation is formed see since we are multiplying throughout the equation value won't change okay so i am multiplying or dividing only this by 2 and divided by 2 that means i'm multiplying by 1 right so divided by 2 i'm taking over here so it means that this whole equation is multiplied by 2 hmm? so let us subtract one equation with the other the sign changes plus 6x minus 6x is 0 9y minus 8y is y hmm? equal to 6 so that I am getting y equal to 6. Hmm? Now we will substitute this in any one of this equation. It is left to you. I okay? will take up this first equation. It is 2x plus 3y equal to minus 4. Hmm? y is 6. I am just substituting over here. 2x plus 3 into y equal to minus 4. So 2x plus 18 equal to minus 4 2x equal to minus 4 minus 18 2x equal to minus 22 and x equal to minus 11 so x is 11 minus 11 and y is 6 okay this method i'll teach you i'm just just to explain how the solution of the uh, pair of linear equation lies okay uh, so you got now x equal to minus 11 and y equal to 6 as a solution of this pair of linear equation what does it imply now so it says when i put these two values over here left hand side of these two equation it is giving me the right hand side then only i can say that this is the solution of this pair of linear equations 
So if minus 11 comma 6 is a solution then graphically it means that two lines these two straight lines intersect at this point. In previous case you had only uh, one equation with two variable. In that case if this is the solution then uh, this point lies on this line. Okay. When you have two equations and you got the solution for that, then it means that this point lies on both of these two lines. Okay. It means that they intersect at this point. When it is possible, in fact, see this one point, one particular point, I'm saying say x comma y. I am saying that this point lies on this line also and this line also, right? When does it happen? When two lines intersect, then only this is possible, okay? So, solution to pair of linear equations means this point, this particular solution, particular point lies on the intersection of these two lines, okay? So, this is the situation I have got here this solution lies uh, on these two lines in the sense uh, those two lines intersect at this point. There may be other situations also. So, let us think geometrically how the lines can be in a plane. Um, so, you have two pair of uh, linear equations in general I am writing. These two are the pair of linear equations uh, where a1, b1, a2, b2 are not equal to 0. This is very much important. These two are the pair of linear equations. So now what is the possibility of these two lines? Means either uh, they, these two lines can be parallel, they can intersect like this okay or they can coincide okay so this one one possibility is they are just parallel another possibility see this is the equation of this line this is the equation of this line okay one possibility is these two lines are parallel another means one is intersecting the other and the third possibility is one lies on the other in the sense they coincide this was the first line and this was the second line okay they coincide so these are the three possibilities when you look at the pair of linear equations see solution to the pair of linear equations can be done in two ways one is graphical method and another one is geometric uh, algebraic method okay let me discuss graphical method in this class in this graphical method first thing you have to observe is the values of a1 b1 a2 b2 first condition is when you have to solve using graphical method the first condition is you have to check for the values of a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 you have to check whether they are equal or not if they are not equal okay then it just means that one line first line intersect the other line if this is so, then you can observe one thing that is two lines are intersecting. Two lines will intersect. At one point. And that point is nothing but the solution to this. 
so when when it happens no you are getting a solution and that is the only one solution because it is intersecting at only one particular point so you are getting only one solution so if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then it just means that two lines will intersect at one point and you are getting only one solution to this pair of linear equations yeah of course i forgot to mention that mm, when you have a pair of linear equations there may be uh, uh, there is a possibility of have, having more than one solution no solution at all or only one solution okay in this case when this a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 here in this case you are getting only one solution and this situation is called consistent okay this whole situation is called consistent or consistent system of equations okay the first thing you are observing the values of a1 by a2 Uh, whether it is equal to b1 by b2 so the second condition if they are equal then what happens second possibility is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and of course it is also equal to c1 by c2 see for this situation i have already explained this problem okay now for the second situation here i'm getting a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 which is equal to c1 by c2 so in this case what happens is one line coincide with the other okay this was the first equation suppose uh, first line and this is the second line that will fall on this okay we say coincident lines when this situation arises then we observe that two lines will be coincident okay and when this situation arises you may have more than one solution in the sense you will be having infinitely many solutions infinitely many solutions and this system of equation or this situation is called consistent again because it has got a solution therefore we say the situation is consistent or system of equation is consistent for example say i have uh, two equations 2x plus 3y plus 4 equal to 0 and another equation is 4x plus 6y plus 8 equal to 0 hmm here a1 is 2 a2 is 3 a4 oh, sorry 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 b1 is 2 and c1 is 4 hmm in this case a2 is 4 b2 is 6 and c2 is 8 hmm? now you check for a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 a1 by a2 is 2 by 4 b1 by b2 is 3 by 6 c1 by c2 is 4 by 8 and this is equal to 1 by 2 in fact right they are equal hmm? similarly you can try with this problem also these two equation this is for the first situation consistent situation okay ha 
now you got a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 what does it mean it means that these two lines are coincident okay and you uh, getting the solution part i'll do it in next classes okay so this is the one possibility there is one more possibility again you are checking for a1 by a2 with b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 here what happens is a1 by a2 will be equal to b1 by b2 but this will not be equal to c1 by c2 then in this case we say that two lines are parallel two lines are parallel and you will not be having any solution so no solutions and the system is inconsistent inconsistent here you are not getting any solution stent okay so just uh, we'll take an example say 3x plus 2y um, minus 4 equal to 0 and 6x plus 4y plus 9 equal to 0 and slight changes hmm. now you check with a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 okay so a1 is 3 b1 is uh, sorry a2 is 6 b1 is 2 b2 is 4 c1 is minus 4 and c2 is 9 hmm? 3 by 6 is same as writing 1 by 2 b1 by b2 is same as 1 by 2 now this cannot be simplified in this case these two are equal and this is not equal this is 1 by 2 this is also 1 by 2 but this is minus 4 by 9 so in this situation a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but this is not equal to c1 by c2 so we can directly say that this set of equation has no solution okay and the system is inconsistent this is all about how to solve okay we are not actually solving we are just uh, taking out checking out the possibilities okay first situation you will be given with two equations or they'll give you the situation you have to frame the equations once you got the equation just check for these conditions this whether they are equal or not if they are equal if they are equal if they are not equal these three possibilities you have to check depending on that you have to go for solving okay if this situation arises then you will be having only one solution if this situation arises and if you have this situation then you may uh, you will have many solutions infinitely many solutions if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and it is not equal to c1 by c2 then you will not have any solution so situation will be given to you you need to frame the equation and then check for these three conditions and then proceed to represent the situation uh, graphically to get the solution okay So in my next class, I will teach you how to represent these two lines graphically and how to get the solution by using graphical method. Thank you.